Hello, this is Hustle and Fun, and we're embarking on a journey to replace a oil pressure sensor or oil pressure switch. So I'm working on a 2010 Tundra, as you have seen in some of my other videos. What I have done is actually bought the oil pressure switch, and I'll show you um, where it is and how to replace it. So what we need to do first is uh, open up the front hood, look under the engine, and there's actually kind of a nut on here, and this one is uh, a bolt. So you take those loose, um, then you take the cover off, set that to the side, and it's kind of dirty underneath that I see. And your oil pressure switch is down here. So here's your oil filter, and it is right behind here. So um, to take that loose, uh, what I have done is uh, I have pressed this part of the switch right here. Let me see if you can see that better. Pressed on it right there. And uh, once you press on it, you can actually try to pull it up or you might be able to pry um, right in between the two things and uh, the what clicks on here and also the switch top and you can pry it out so at this point what you need to do is uh, um, get uh, maybe a vice grip or something on the metal part of it and see if you can loosen that so i'm about to do that what i have uh, done also is uh, the reason i'm doing this is mine is leaking so i don't know where it's leaking from it looks like it might be from the base but in either case i'm going to replace it um here's uh, i bought this from autozone it's uh, a duralast uh, um i don't know one piece let me see if i can get a number for you guys here it is it is a ps254 um, switch interrupter well this is what they came up with um, this uh, was I don't know about $15 or so so it wasn't that bad I figured it would be easier to get it from them than to order online so that's what I did so let's see if we can get this uh, loose and get it out of here and put the new one in So I got the wise grip on there and let's see if we can actually get this loosened. Let's see, let me move it over a little bit. Clamp it on there. And looks like it's moving, but it might be only the plastic part of it. So let me take this plastic part out and see if the underneath of it will be moving as well. Let's take a look here. I think we got progress here. we're making progress it's getting looser and looser as we speak okay let me try to get this out of here and then show you what it looks like when it came out okay so now i got it loose enough where i can turn it by hand and okay so it is out and it does look like the one I have. So I'm going to clean up the area right around here a little bit and uh, see if we can get the new one in. Okay, the two of them look fairly similar, but the original one is actually has a little bit of a smaller shaft than the new one. So it looks like it's not the correct part. So I'm going to see if I can uh, go back take this back and see if I can get another one or order online
So for right now, I will put the original one back and then get uh, the correct size. I figured I'll give it another, another try before going to back to AutoZone. It will just take me a minute. And what it looks like is even though the old one has a taper end, the thickness is the same thing, except this is tapered. So it's a little bit harder to get this going, but I got it going in the meantime and uh, it's twisting in nice and easy by hand. So I believe this should be fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the wrench on it because I believe this is uh, uh, you have to see what size it is but I'm going to get a wrench on it see if I can tighten it um, put the wire back on and we should be good to go I'm going to start the engine after that to see if there's any seepage if we have to put something on the threads but uh, let me see if I can tighten this first it looks like that a 15, let's see, 15 16 inch um, deep socket actually fits on uh, nice. So I slipped it on and I'm going to just tighten it snug. We don't want to break it. So let me get this. Snug here. And then we'll connect it up in a second here. So it should be just fine. Let me take this off and let's connect it back up. Click down, nice. So that should be fine. Let me take things off of the truck here and uh, see if we can start this puppy up. All right, I'm starting it up right now. Nice. Let's go to the front of the truck. And see. looks good I think nothing is leaking so that's definitely good to see one less problem that we need to solve and well that's how you replace a oil pressure switch and I'm doing some other things to the truck so I figure I'll get this done also I saw a little bit of oil leaking from there and there's quite a bit of oil on the engine so i don't know if this is the main cause of it or there's other things there's other things uh, there's more projects uh, and more videos coming your way thanks for watching and if you liked what you saw give me a thumbs up or subscribe or both and i'll see you on the next one